Hey everyone and welcome to another Pokemon card video! This time we're opening the Hoopa EX Legendary Collection. I did the Pikachu version of this a while ago, and these sets are awesome. We've got five full arts, I know you can barely see it, we'll get some close-ups pretty soon. Just the box is so huge, but we've got five legendary full arts. We've got, I think it's six packs in there, I can't remember if it's six or eight, but there's a lot of packs in there. There's a pin, and there's... I guess that's it. I guess, I guess that's all that's in there. I thought there was a coin, but no, there's not. So let's go ahead and take a closer, I guess we'll just take a closer glance, but I'll, I'll show all these cards one at a time very close up here. Let's take a quick glance at the back here. It's got some cool looking art, kind of just the generic art, but that's alright. Hoopa EX at your command. If you guys want to read that, feel free to. It's in focus now. And there's that. Alright, so enough looking at the box. Let's go ahead and open this guy up and pull out those cards. Ooh, this is like one of the only times I've managed to open this and have it not be a pain in the butt. Actually, went, that went pretty smoothly. Oh, can I get the plastic open though? Okay, get out of there. Oh, jeez. Okay, I actually managed to get the plastic off. That was a lot of work, but we did it. Let me get this one out of here. This is the Hoopa EX. That's what it was. Okay, so there's the Hoopa EX. I was like, I know there's one thing I'm forgetting to mention, but yes, we get a Hoopa EX. Wow, that's actually a really, really cool looking card too. Hyperspace Ring and Wonder Trick. That is X and Y promo number 85. I've already opened a set. Oh gosh, it was last week. I forget what it was now, but it was X and Y promo 100. Oh, it was the Mewtwo boxes. So yeah, this is not super old because they released so many promos so quickly, but it is relatively... I guess not new, but it's new to me. I think it came out within the past few months, so really cool card. Let's set that guy aside, and let's start taking a look one by one at these legendaries. Legendary full arts. Some people were saying that they got the set and the ink on these seemed cheaper than usual. And I can tell you the whole thing is glossy, like, even the Pokemon itself is glossy, which a lot of the times with hollows they don't do that. So I can't comment on the cheapness, but... It's definitely the whole thing glossy, so that's a really cool Latios card there, X and Y 79. It's probably why the promo counter is going up so fast, is because they release sets like this, which have six promos in them. Here we have a Dialga. So shiny, dude. And it's got... Uh, no, it's got nothing in the background. That's X and Y 77. Really cool card. Got three more to go here. We have a Reshiram. Wow, look at that guy. I love the look of the red and blue there. Actually, just a little hint of blue, mostly red, but... Still looks really great. We've got X and Y 74 on that one. I don't even know how they do the numberings on these. These numbers are all over the place. We had 79, 77, and 74. What the heck? Okay, we also have White Curum. You might notice if you watch the Pikachu one, a lot of these uh, cards that we get here are kind of... Oh, hold on. Yeah, I can see that there is a little bit of cheapness there. There's already some, like, shininess on the edge, so the ink's already kind of wearing off on the edge right there. But yeah, a lot of these cards are like the opposites of the Pikachu set. So last time we had Black Hurum, I believe last time we had Zekrom, last time we had Palkia, and last time we had Latias. So it's kind of just the uh, opposites there. I believe both of them had... Oh, let's see if I can get that out of there. Ow. Well, I just... Gosh dang it, no wonder the cards are getting ruined if I'm doing this kind of crud. I really try to take good care of my stuff, but sometimes things happen. But here we have an Arceus. I believe both of the sets do have one of these guys, but it's just a little bit different uh, art there. Okay, so that plastic is empty. Let's move that aside. And we still have the pin to go through, so let's go get that. Oh my gosh, look how long my arm looks at this angle. This looks ridiculous. Okay, let's get zoomed in here. Get focused in as well. Can I, I can zoom in more than that. Come on. There we go. Now I got a really nice looking Hoopa EX pin. Look at his little cute little cheeks, dude. That's awesome. And there's the back. All right. We also have the code card right right here. And we have all of our packs. Let me make sure I've got all of them. It is a good thing I checked because we had a Roaring Skies pack on the floor. Gosh dang it. I really do try to take care of my stuff, but sometimes things like that happen. So there are five packs. We got two breakthrough. One Ancient Origins, uh, one Primal Clash, and one Roaring Skies. So let's start with the Breakthrough. I just want to get it over with. I want to find out, do I finally get the Zoroark Break? We've got Zoroark Break on the cover. Let's see if he's actually in there. That's the one card that I really want right now. Unless there's like another Secret Rare in the Breakthrough set, we've already got one of them. I, I don't know if there's any more. I'm assuming there is. Usually there's like two, between two and four. Okay. Do we get the Zoroark Break? We have a Wobbuffet. There's Quillava. Behem. Rufflet, Chespin, another Chespin, we've got Zerua, Froakie, Reverse Hollow Octillery, and we have a Bronzong. 
So the reverse hollow slot is where Zoroark would have been. As soon as we saw the reverse hollow artillery, not that I dislike artillery, I love artillery, but as soon as we saw that, I knew we didn't have it. And I've already got so many of those Bronzong. But, I don't know, Bronzong's another one of those weird Pokemon. I don't know how I feel about him, but I'm not a hater. There's no Pokemon that I dislike. A lot of people always ask me, like, who's your least favorite Pokemon? And I guess, technically, I, I have to have a least favorite, but least favorite doesn't necessarily mean dislike, you know? But here we have a Floatstone, Magneton, Giovanni's Scheme, Axew, Flabebe, Swablu, Mischievous, Skiddo, do we get the break? We have an Inke Reverse Holographic, so no Zoroark break for us. But we do have another Octillery, this time a Holographic, so we got both of those guys in this one. Pretty nifty. Still got three packs to go. I guess we'll go in reverse order. Let's just do the Ancient Origins here. I'm not sure what I'm looking for in Ancient Origins. I gotta organize my collection. I actually recently, ju actually just yesterday, I ordered 60 binders. I ordered 60 card binders, 300 card page sleeves, and like 60 storage boxes so I can finally sort everything out. My goal is to do one binder per set, and I've already got a few binders so I don't need to buy every- I don't need to buy more than 60 because I, I think there's 68 sets in total. But we have an Ampro Spirit Link here, a Blossom, Faded Town, Eevee, Cottony, Relicanth, Golurk, Persian, Reverse Hollow Vaporeon, nice, and we have a Regirock. Alright, let's get to Roaring Skies, but what I was trying to say before is that I can finally sort out my collection into the binders and all that crud, and then I can figure out which cards that I actually need for the sets so I know what I'm looking for. I mean, of course I know that I'm looking for Zoroark Break, or I'm looking for a couple of certain Flashfire cards, so things like that, but it'd just be good to know what I actually need, you know? Here we have a Shellgun, Gallade Spirit Link, Dragonair, Togepi, Natsu, double Natsu right there. I like this one better. I love the Ancient Traits cards. We have an Inke. There's Dratini. Reverse Hollow is a Shuppet. And we have, ooh, Holographic Jirachi. Nice. So you can see, if you compare this to the last video when we had all those line holographics, you can see the holographic for this set is pretty straightforward. There's no real sparkle to it. It's just kind of shiny background. So still looks, still looks nice, but... Not a whole lot of character to the holographic there. Although Jirachi, I love Jirachi, Jirachi's awesome. I even like the movie, even if it has Max. A lot of people hate Max from the anime, but eh, I don't mind him too much. I've never really been annoyed by characters that much. Okay, we've got three cards. What? We don't have three cards. We have one pack left. How the crud did I get three cards out of one pack? Here we have an Electric, Gardevoir Spirit Link, Combuskin, Spinda, Horsey, Skitty. Tangela, Trico, what is this, the grass pack? Gosh dang, we have a reverse holographic weakness policy. Do we have any EXs? What do we have here? We've got a Wishgash. So we did not get any EXs. We got, I think it was two holographics, I can't remember. But we still got the EX from the uh, Hoopa one here. And we got five of the full art holographics, which is cool. But not the best pulls today. But maybe, maybe we'll come back on Sunday. Well, we will come back on Sunday. But what I'm saying is maybe we'll finally get some good pulls and finally win a pack battle. I'll see you guys on Sunday, and we'll see if we can win that. So thank you guys so much for watching this one, and I'll see you then. Take care.